Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about the emulsion polymerization technique. Okay. In the last classes, uh, we studied about the suspension polymerization, bulk polymerization technique, solution polymerization technique. Right. So, this is also one of the method to get your addition polymers. Okay. Well, now, just like uh, uh, in, uh, you studied in the suspension polymerization, the water is used as the solvent okay here also the water is used as the solvent and whatever the monomer you have taken that will be water insoluble okay here also the same condition even in the suspension polymerization the same condition you have observed that is water is used as a solvent and the monomer is the monomer is water insoluble correct so this is the water this is what you studied okay the same concept uh, applies so over here also but what's the difference here so here the main difference is that in the previous case that is in the suspension let me write in the case of suspension polymerization so what happened when you added the monomer to the water so you had a water in a beaker just imagine this is the beaker you containing a water solvent okay so whenever you added the monomer the monomer formed a droplets correct they formed a droplet in the suspension okay they formed a droplets in the suspension polymerization but here what happened is that whenever you disperse the monomer in the aqueous phase they do not form a droplet instead okay in this case there is a formation of uniform uniform emulsion okay so there is a formation of emulsion not a droplets okay so in the suspension there is a formation of a droplet but in the emulsion polymerization there is a formation of a emulsion in a water Okay, that's it. Now, the emulsion that is formed in the water that must be stabilized. Okay, there must be a stabilizing agents that should be added. Okay, like a surface active agents or a simply a surfactant. Okay, surface active agents or a, a, you know protective collides or buffers, suitable buffers should be added in order to stabilize what emulsion okay surface active agents are usually added what is surface active agent nothing but a surfactant okay the surfactants are usually added in order to stabilize the emulsion in the water okay now Let's talk about surfactant or surface active agent. We know that uh, uh, we studied in our lower classes that a surfactant can be of three types. So what are the three types? It can be of anionic or it can be of cationic or it can even be a neutral, right? Non-ionic, non-ionic. So these are the three different types of surfactant we have. Now, what does the surfactant or a surface active agent will do? It usually lowers surface tension, right? So, here the main duty of this surface active agent is for what? Emulsification. How does this emulsify? That, that it will do by lowering surface tension. Surface tension between what? Between our monomer and a water okay monomer and water interface okay between them the surface tension is lowered when the surface tension become lowered this monomer will not form a droplet only emuls emulsion become possible okay so this will lower the surface tension of between what monomer and water interface and hence they will form an emuls or they will help in the emulsification of monomer in the water okay now whenever you add the uh, small concentration of the surface active agent or simply a surfactant okay so whenever you add lower quantity or lower concentration what happen they completely dissolve 
okay that means if you imagine this is a beaker containing a water imagine you are adding little bit of a surf okay normal surf that we use for uh, washing purpose okay just one tablespoon just you add okay you have taken a plenty of water add one tablespoon and dissolve okay stir it okay what happen it will completely dissolve right so you do not uh, make out that uh, or you cannot see whether surfactant is present or not because it will be completely dissolved if you add lower concentration right now if you add two more spoon what happen once again uh, it may dissolve completely because we have taken a large concentration of water here correct right? so here what you need to understand is that if you add lot of surfactant okay you have a water and you are adding uh, say 10 spoon okay in this, i mean you are increasing the concentration of the uh, surf or surfactants so what happen so what happen is that there will be a formation of micelles okay micelle formation will take place okay the, uh, when the micelle formation will take place when it reaches or it, when it reaches a certain concentration okay beyond which uh, they do not dissolve instead they will combine together or aggregates in the form of what micelles so that concentration is there no that is beyond which only micelle with uh, micelle formation is possible that concentration is called as critical critical uh, micelle concentration concentration or simply uh, we call it as cmc okay cmc so what is cmc cmc is nothing but it is a concentration of what it is a concentration of surfactant or surface active agent beyond which only the micelle formation will take place okay below which what happen it may dissolve in the water that you have taken okay but above this particular concentration it do not dissolve instead they will aggregates okay that means so they will combine together they will form aggregates and the, that is what we call micelle now what is micelle how the uh, molecules surface, uh, surface active agent molecules will be arranged in the micelle we all know that it will be in the uh, you know kind of uh, ball kind structure right so let me uh, tell you so uh, here surface active agent at, uh, or emulsifying molecule is there no that is usually containing two parts that we all studied in our lower classes that is what i am uh, telling you once again okay here the surface active agent or simply um, you know surfactant or it can also be called as emulsifying agent also because that is uh, helping in emulsifying right okay now it is containing two parts what are the two parts one is called as polar part and another part is called as non-polar part okay this is a one molecule of uh, surf okay this head is there no that is a polar one okay polar part while this is the hydrocarbon chain okay which is non-polar non-polar okay non-polar part of the surface active agent well now during the micelle formation okay during the micelle formation what happens is that these molecules okay this is a simple one molecule i have drawn there will be plenty of molecules right so how will be these molecules are arranging when the micelle is formed so they will be arranged uh, or they will be aligned uh, like this this polar part is there no that will be aligned themselves outward okay like this they will be aligned outwards while this uh, part is there no that is the non-polar part or hydro uh, hydrocarbon part they will be aligned um, at the interior like this Okay, now these uh, polar part is there, no? That is head. That will be in the contact with the water. Okay, all uh, okay like this, like this. Okay, these are all uh, but polar part. They will be in contact with what? With the water, right? So we are uh, consider that our solvent is water. Okay, uh, this size will be very small, but for your uh, understanding purpose, I have written uh, in a bigger structure. Okay. 
Okay. Now this polar part is in a uh, contact with the water. Why? Because this is also polar and our water is there. No, that is also polar. Like always uh, present with the like. Correct. So we always know that uh, the like like will be present together. Right. So they will be in contact like this. But here. What is this? Non-polar one, no? So, it will be present away from the water. That means it is uh, present at the interior of this uh, micelle, okay? Actually, it is uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, ball, okay? If you consider the ball, the surface of the ball will be containing this polar part while the interior of the ball is there, no? That will be containing this non-polar end, okay? Now, this is how the structure of the micelle is. And now, we also know that the monomer that we are added is what? Water insoluble, right? So, monomer is a water insoluble. So, whatever the monomer you have added will not dissolve here. <coughs> it will not dissolve here, okay? Why? Because this is not dissolving in a water means it do not dissolve in a water. Instead, what may happen is that this monomer will be entering inside here okay so the whatever the monomer that you have added it will go and enter into the micelle okay it will come here okay the monomer will be coming here and it will get uh, solubilized at the interior part of the micelle okay hope you are understanding the monomer being a water insoluble it do not uh, you know dissolve at this place instead it will go inside because the, here you have the non polar right non polar part is there this is the water insoluble means it is also non polar so it will go and get solubilized at the interior of that micelle okay now it is in the liquid state okay well, now what you do is you add the initiator. Okay, the initiator is added. Now remember the initiator added here is the water soluble one. Okay, while in the suspension, whether it is a water soluble or water insoluble. Water insoluble, right, in the suspension. But here the initiator that we have added is a water soluble one. Okay, water soluble initiators are added. Okay, now you have added <coughs> initiator. So, what happened? Here you have water, no? It will get dissolved. Okay, initiator is uh, dissolved in a water. Okay, it will be present everywhere here. Okay, it will be present and even this is also a polar, right? So, whatever the initiator that is added, it, it is also present at the polar head of that micelle. Because it is also polar, this is also polar, right? So, the um, initiator will be present at the surface of the, uh, surface of what? Micelle and even at the water, even uh, it is dissolved in a water also. And uh, large concentration will be present at the polar head of the micelle, okay? Okay, now what happen is that the polymerization will begin. Okay, the polymerization will start at the this region only. Okay, at the uh, this region because the monomer is dissolved at the interior. Means here also you have the nonpolar uh, part, right? So polymer, sorry, monomer is dissolved, solubilized at this place, at the interior. So inside this you all have what now monomer, which is in the liquid state now. Okay, now at the surface of this uh, polar head, what you have? You have the initiator. So, there will be a, a polymerization or that polymerization will begin at the surface of this polar head only. And then the polymerization will proceed inward. Okay, it will start at the first, it will start at the polar head of the micelle. Then, um, uh, as, the uh, as the reaction proceeds, uh, it will go inside, okay. The initiator will be entering inside as the reaction proceeds, okay. So, inside this only the polymerization uh, or polymer will be there, okay. Inside this micelle, the polymer will be present, okay. Now, 
during the polymerization the uh, still the monomer will be present here right which is uh, not solubilized it may enter the micelle and the polymerization or um, propagation step may continue or uh, it increases the chain length keep increasing when the monomer from the uh, water is entering inside this micelle okay now how to stop the reaction how to stop the reaction is uh, when you add the inhibitor or if there is any uh, you know radical species that is entering inside this okay micelle the um, you know the propagation step will stop okay you need to add some inhibitor or some radical species okay that will enter here and stop the reaction okay once the reaction has been stopped then what you need to do is that now here the polymer whatever you get now that will be present here only means it will appear uh, you know like of uh, milky white uh, suspension okay it will appear like what milky white suspension How, why because the polymer will be present inside this only and uh, uh, when the person sees from outside no the material inside uh, this will look like a milky white uh, emulsion or uh, emulsion i could say. i could write emulsion okay milky white it kind it will look like a milky white okay now the polymer which is uh, present along with this micelle can be used as such okay it can be used as such where it can be used it can be used uh, as uh, adhesives or it can be even used as the paints okay it can be used as adhesives or it can be used even as the paint now if you want to get the pure polymer what you need to do you want a pure polymer okay so if you want to get the pure polymer you need to remove all this emulsifying agent or surface active agent should be removed then only the polymer that you get will be in the purest form right so that is anyway very difficult to process that is why you know you are using this entire thing uh, as such as such okay we will be usually calling that as a latex okay so that is milky white uh, um emulsion is i said no that is usually called as a latex okay milky white emulsion that is containing the polymer in it okay that is called as a latex it can be used as such as in the case of adhesives and paint okay if you want to uh, get the pure polymer then em this emulsifying agent should be removed okay that can be done but uh, it is very costly process okay what you can do is uh, you can add some destabilizing agents okay destabilizing destabilizing agents can be added so that all this molecule get dispersed and the polymer will be obtained in the purest form anyway you cannot say it is in the purest form okay so it is very difficult uh, process to do it to get the purest uh, polymer it is uh, very difficult by this method okay anyway uh, sometime we add the destabilizing agent so that uh, this mo uh, molecule is there no that is uh, micelles or uh, uh, surface active agent can be dispersed okay so now can you list out what are the advantages so advantages of this method so advantage is that what advantages of what emulsion polymerization so advantages of this emulsion polymerization is the first is what water the water is used as a solvent correct so once you uh, uh, use the water as a solvent then you know what uh, sorry heat control become easier right so heat control is easier in this case since the water is also cheaper it is a little economical okay uh, when you compared um, Uh, to the uh, you know solution one okay in the solution we are using the organic solvent right so organic solvents are usually a costlier but here water is used correct that is why it is little cheaper and the heat control is also better and the next advantage is what a high molecular weight polymer can be obtained okay high molecular weight polymer can be obtained okay high molecular weight polymer can be obtained next advantage is that 
here uh, final product uh, that is uh, latex i told no that can be used as such okay in the uh, paints or in the uh, adhesives it can be used as such you need not add a destabilizing agent okay that's the thing disadvantage is what disadvantage i already said you cannot get a pure polymer okay so even though if you want to remove the uh, you know emulsifying agent destabilizing agent must be added and uh, so the polymer that is obtained you no know, that is not pure because surface active agent is there you know, that is still be adhered on the surface of the polymer to remove it a little difficult okay that is why um, purity will be less okay purity of the polymer is less and next disadvantage is that if you want to get a dry polymer okay if you want to get dry polymer dry polymer means uh, what we need to do we have to remove the water correct the removal of water is not an uh, you know cheaper one it is an energy intensive process right that is also a disadvantage you cannot get a dry polymer if you want to get dry polymer water has to be removed which is an energy intensive process okay and next is that uh, it is uh, uh, by using this method you cannot get the condensation condensation polymer cannot be obtained or even ionic polymers cannot be obtained or even uh, ziegler natta ziegler natta uh, polymerization cannot be done by this method okay these are the disadvantages and the advantages of the um, you know emulsion polymerization technique okay so if you have any doubt in this uh, class please let me know and i will upload the uh, complete notes of this emulsion polymerization in my uh, you know telegram channel the telegram channel is uh, ps chem education itself so you can search ps uh, chem education so in this uh, channel i will be uh, uploading the notices okay if you want uh, notes of other uh, topics uh, you can comment and i will uh, uh, upload the same thank you for watching